welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. This look was inspired by Scorpio since it is currently Scorpio season. It is part of my birth sign series here on my channel. I will link the other videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. For this look, I really wanted something edgy and fierce, but it turned out totally different to what I had originally pictured. <laughs> These eyeliners were just not cooperating how I wanted it to. This is not really a true red, it's like a really hot magenta pink. So I had to go over it with this, but then when I originally tried to use this, it is so hard to work with as an eyeliner, um, especially when you don't have a good brush. Like all of my liner brushes are frayed. I don't know if you can tell, but yes, it was quite difficult, but I pushed through it. But I do really like this really hot, vibrant, neon, red, pink, I don't know. I don't even know what color this is exactly, but I really like that color against the black. It's so like, I don't know, it looks super neon. This is also giving me Halloween vibes, which I was not trying to do at all, but no. I was having trouble with my foundation because it is so hot right now, even in the fall time, I don't get it. So before my makeup completely melts off my face, I'm going to wrap it up and let you guys get on with the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by priming my face with this Cover FX Blurring Primer. And while that sinks in, I'm going to fill in my brows with the Tanya Crooks Brow Gal Brow Powder. To clean up my brows, I'm going to use my trusty Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And I'm also going to prime my lids with this concealer as well. Don't forget to set down the concealer with some face powder. I'm using the Cover Talks 10 Powder by Physicians Formula. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking this black shade called Obsidian from the Anastasia Prism Palette and with a light hand, start applying this to the crease. As you can see here, I ended up applying tape for a cleaner edge. Now I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and applying it all over the lids and lower lash line as a base. And then, to set that down, I'm going back in with Obsidian and patting it down over the black base and also taking it up to the crease and really blowing out this look. Now when we take off the tape, we are left with a crisp, clean line. Next, I'm taking this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Midnight and patting it right in the center of my lids. Going back in with the NYX Black Jumbo Pencil, I'm applying this to my waterline and tightline as well. Then taking this NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in Vivid Fire, I'm creating a wing and also bringing some of this onto my inner lower lash line. Like I mentioned in the intro, this liner was more of a magenta pink color and I wanted more of a red shade, so I went over the wing with this NYX Vivid Brights Cream Color in Cyber Pop. To help soften and blend out the harsh black shadows on my lids and lower lash line, I use the shade Slow Burn from my Urban Decay Electric Palette. Next, I'm just curling my lashes and applying some of this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. For foundation, I'm mixing together the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation in Warm Beige with the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And as always, I'm applying the foundation with a brush first for full coverage and then blending out any brush strokes with a beauty sponge. For concealer, I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and then setting that down with this Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. To contour and bake my face, I'm using this Contour and Highlighting Palette by IBY Beauty as well as this Sculpture Palette by Pure Cosmetics. For highlight, I'm using this Glow Brilliant shade from the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. To help melt all of the makeup together, I went ahead and sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I also decided to pop on some lashes for more drama. Moving on to the lips, I wanted to create a gradient effect, so I'm using a black pencil eyeliner and I lined my lips and then I went back in with the NYX Cream Color in Cyber Pop and placed that in the center of the lips 
and slowly started to blend that area where the two colors met with a lip brush. I also used the Black Shadow Obsidian to help shade my lips. This does take some time, so just keep going back and forth till you're happy with the ombre effect. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!